Hello friends, I'm Gabe. And I'm Anne Marie. We hope you are ready to improve your writing in English because we've got a tip today that will help you do just that. As you learn to express more and more ideas in English, you've probably learned lots of common expressions and idioms. Right. No pain, no gain. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Those are both great expressions. And you know what they mean. Now, some idioms are kill two birds with one stone, or the grass is greener on the other side. Or it's raining cats and dogs. That's one almost everyone I've met has heard. And yes, we do use those in conversation, but our tip today has to do with writing, and it's this. Use expressions and idioms sparingly. That means not very much, if at all. Now I know what you're thinking. Chang yu hen zhong yao. Yes, we know. In Chinese, it's important to throw in those four word idioms into your speeches and writing. But not in English. It just doesn't impress readers or audiences as much. In fact, if you have too many, it can distract from the message that you're trying to communicate. This is because idioms can quickly become cliche if used too often. And in English, when expressing your own thoughts or opinions in a paper, it's best to find an original way to express your idea rather than relying on idioms. For example, instead of writing, when I woke up this morning, it was raining cats and dogs, try to put together other words for your own unique expression. When I woke up this morning, it was raining so hard, I couldn't tell when the sun came up. Now that's an interesting example because you even added a detail about the sun being covered. To conclude, idioms and expressions are fun to learn and good to use in conversation sometimes, but they will not really impress people. And we want you to be original, right in a way that will make you stand out. Hope this helps. Happy writing.